When a young kid goes to school, we teach that kid how to read, how to write, how to count some basic mathematics. Because as a society, we believe that for any human being to succeed in the contemporary world, in these circumstances, they need these basic literacy skills. I believe there's one more form of literacy that a lot of us are lacking in this contemporary post-scientific world. And I think that form of literacy is the ability to read research papers. Despite our complicated relationship with science, we still want to believe that whatever our worldview is, it is actually grounded in reality. And just because some research came out and um, made a certain conclusion doesn't mean that this conclusion is an accepted fact, which is now the mainstream science. So how do you understand which research to trust and which not? And I'll share three very simple rules with you right now. And the rule number one is that reputable research is usually published in some kind of a journal which has substantial work and which actually has gone through some filtering. So journal is rule number one. Rule number two is although you cannot maybe go through the whole research because a lot of that is behind a paywall, all the research papers have an abstract which is available for everyone for free. And abstracts are written in the same basic format. The first sentence usually states the problem which this research is trying to solve. Then there is a jumble in the middle uh, where the paper talks about uh, the methodology, uh, you know, what exactly was being researched. And then the last sentence is usually the conclusion, what the scientists who made this research have concluded out of whatever they were researching. Now, read the first sentence and the last sentence and you will get the basic idea. And the third rule is that not all research is the same. One of them is experimental or based in the experiments that scientists are conducting in their laboratory. The other type is usually the meta research, which is researching other papers or, for example, analyzing statistics, which is already out there. So very often the second type can be controversial because different type of scientists can look at the same statistics, at the same numbers and make completely different conclusions. These are the three very simple rules that can already put you on the path of being a little bit more critical about what you hear out there about science and research. I hope these three simple rules are going to give you a little bit more confidence about, you know, research and science being thrown at your face. And maybe it will give you courage to look a little deeper into the essence of phenomenon that everybody's talking about.